that we deliver to the people of Kenya, that which they expect. The presence <coughs> of so many others, including uh, the speaker here, members of the executive here, the leadership of parliament, and other organs, is a clear testimony that you have the support and goodwill of every actor within our criminal justice system and other arms of government. You assume office at a unique time in our nation's history. The people of Kenya are resolute in the need to realize accountability for those entrusted with public office at all levels of government and within all our arms of government. Corruption is one of the challenges facing Kenya today. This is because corruption is a significant barrier to the realization of our shared aspirations as a nation because it breeds iniquity and leads us to lose huge amounts of public property and public resources. As a seasoned prosecutor, you are aware that in the past, some anti-craft actions were concocted to settle scores that had nothing to do with fighting corruption. Kenyans hope, and I hope, that under your tenure, the war on corruption will not be used to settle political scores, to target persons for their beliefs, or to pressure persons to abandon their rights and principles. We expect from the people of Kenya and from myself, and I speak to you candidly, openly, that, that we expect nothing less. It is your duty as the head of the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution to ensure that non-partisan, uniform, consistent, and high-quality prosecutorial actions are always the benchmark of your office. Without fear or favor, without different standards for big fish versus small fish, without avoiding actions against the so-called sacred cows, you have been mandated by Kenyans to ensure that justice reigns on all equally. You have the support of the executive and the presence of all these leaders here is testimony. And of every state organ, of both tires of government and all three arms of government, and of the millions of Kenyans who are looking up to you and your officers with hope and expectation. We will respect and uphold the independence of your office and provide you with the necessary assistance that we can as you pursue the sacred goal of making Kenya a more just and more safe nation for all of us. You will face criticism, Mr. Renzo Omulele. You will hear calls for greater accountability and transparency in your office decisions, decision making. This is, not, this is part and parcel of public service and state office. I trust that you will understand that in our vibrant democracy, Kenyans demand for and deserve to receive a higher standard of service from those they have entrusted with high office, starting with me and including you. As you begin your tenure, remember that you are not alone. You have a nation standing firmly behind you, supporting your every effort to ensure that the law is justly administered and that the rights of all are respected. May your tenure as the Director of Public Prosecution be marked by triumph of justice, and may you stand as an inspiring example of integrity and dedication to duty. My good uh, brother Omulele, uh, Ngonga, Renzo, I, I want you to know that we stand here today. I know you have members of your family here because the office you are holding from today is a very high office in the Republic of Kenya. 
and the expectations are equally high. And I want to encourage you that you will succeed because you have the support of all these people and you have the support of the people of Kenya. Kenyans are resolute and they are determined to make sure that we route out corruption in our country. As you have heard, I have said Maboni Matatu. And you know one of them, it is up to you to discharge. So you have a duty to make sure that the property of the people of Kenya, the resources of the people of Kenya are not abused, they are not wasted, they are not uh, stolen, and through corruption, the people of Kenya don't lose. I am very clear in my mind as to where we want to go on this matter, and we will defeat corruption. I am confident that we will defeat corruption because the people of Kenya have so decided. So you have a huge responsibility, but you will succeed because all Kenyans will support you. Um, the other arms of government are here. The other uh, organs of uh, criminal justice system are here. Uh, the Chief Justice can tell you that uh, we have kept our part of the bargain to make sure that we support the judiciary to the extent that we can. And we haven't asked them for any favorable judgment. We've asked them to discharge their responsibility in the way the law gives them the mandate. We will do ours and everybody must do theirs. May the almighty God of all creation bless your every action and through you and all your colleagues that will be working with you, bless the nation of Kenya and all our people of Kenya. Congratulations again, uh, Renson. My very best wishes, and as I told you,